was told to eat this thing, so how's this doing? <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Kayla Dutcher, S still. Uh, and I am in 10th grade, which means that I'm still a sophomore, I, I think. I hope that I'm not getting this wrong every single time. Uh, anyway, and I go to Thomas Jefferson High School. Dang it, Helen. <laughs> and my poem is called That Summer Day. I should warn you, though. Before I start this poem, there is a trigger warning for anyone who has a problem with any types of pet deaths, specifically. Uh, and that's my trigger warning. If anybody has a problem with that, then I guess leave with a question mark. But uh, that's, that's how we're starting. Uh, anyway, her cold glass eyes with a solemn stare, I look and see the blood and guts of kittens that I'd seen so happy and sweet yesterday. Mom is crying. I have to be strong. Mama and Daddy didn't raise no wimp. Grandma wouldn't look at them. It is our job to take care of the missing, or my job, to take care of their feelings. You can't cry. Mom will cry if you aren't strong enough. We picked up the last three bleeding, well, still breathing, and we hurried them as quickly as possible to the vet. But we were too late. The last kitten had died. Died halfway there. I felt my eyes begin to fill with tears. The vet had charged us for the kitten formula, and we had called. We had only called. We hadn't even made it to the vet's office. My mom had grabbed some finger paints and the kitten's paws that had survived the longest, so the three that were in the car, and put their paws on a blank sheet of paper. I knew, no, wait, scratch that. We knew that they would die. We had told my grandma or her, or yeah, my grandma, to put them up, but we knew that they most likely wouldn't. And that is why it is my fault, as an eight-year-old, it is my fault that they were dead. <laughs>